The average wait time for a kidney transplant is a whopping seven years. But can you imagine a world where kidney transplant lists are a thing of the past? How about a world where there are more than enough organs for everyone in need? It sounds like wishful thinking, but it might not be as far-fetched as you think. In today's video, we're going to be delving deep into a breakthrough that could revolutionize kidney disease as we know it, lab-grown kidneys. No, it's not science fiction. Scientists are really working on making this dream a reality. Stick with us to learn all about the science behind this amazing development and what it could mean for the future of kidney disease and dialysis. We'll also be considering the ethics behind lab-grown organs, because if you're on the fence about this one, you're certainly not alone. Plus, later on in the video, we'll be revealing how you can get your hands on two exclusive free gifts to help you on your journey to better kidney health. So there's lots in store. It's estimated that kidney disease claims over 1.2 million lives every year. For those who reach the critical point of kidney failure, dialysis becomes their lifeline, unless they're one of the lucky few who get a kidney transplant. Dialysis is a rigorous routine that, while life-saving, is far from a cure. Over 2 million people worldwide currently undergo dialysis. This means a life tethered to machines that can only mimic a fraction of a healthy kidney's functions. Dialysis has many limitations. For starters, it can only partially cleanse the blood of toxins. On top of that, it's incredibly time-consuming, often requiring several hour-long sessions each week. Studies have found high rates of depression and anxiety in dialysis patients, as its draining effects take their toll. Not to mention, it's scarily expensive. In the US, dialysis can cost up to $156,000 per year. Enter the groundbreaking world of lab-grown kidneys. But what exactly are they? Let's get into the science. The journey of a lab-grown kidney starts in the microscopic world of stem cells. Stem cells are unique in that they're capable of mimicking many different cells in the body, like a chameleon. So the first step in growing a kidney is to direct these stem cells to become kidney cells. A team at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Australia took a significant leap by using a technique known as directed differentiation. They exposed the stem cells to artificial conditions that are similar to what naturally happens in the body. This guided the stem cells to transform into kidney cells. Once the stem cells have transformed into kidney cells, the next challenge is to organize these cells into the complex structure of a kidney. This is where scaffolding comes into play. Scaffolds provide a framework for the kidney cells to grow on. These scaffolds are designed to mimic the environment of a natural kidney. This allows the cells to arrange themselves in a way that replicates the organ's intricate structure. It's like growing a plant along a trellis. The scaffold provides the structure for the cells to latch onto, encouraging them to grow into the shape of a kidney. As the cells grow and mature on the scaffold, they begin to form the tissues and structures characteristic of a kidney, such as nephrons, the kidney's filtering units. The scaffold gradually degrades over time, leaving behind a tissue-engineered kidney. This lab-grown kidney is then carefully monitored to ensure it functions correctly. While the technology is still being developed, the ultimate goal is to create lab-grown kidneys that can be successfully transplanted into patients with kidney failure, offering a potential solution to the shortage of donor kidneys. A landmark study demonstrated the potential of this approach in animal models. Researchers successfully engineered kidney tissue that began to perform some of the kidney's key functions, including filtration. In fact, the kidneys even began to produce urine, marking a huge step forward in the timeline. Interestingly, other scientists are taking a different approach. For example, the Kidney Project has been developing a device that you can implant to replace a struggling kidney. To learn more about artificial kidneys, watch our trending video on it on our channel next. So. What could lab-grown kidneys mean for the future of kidney care? First off, it would directly address the major issue of organ scarcity. At the moment, over 100,000 people in the US are on the waiting list for a kidney transplant, and most of those will spend years waiting. The dire shortage of available organs for transplantation is one of the most heart-wrenching crises in modern medicine. Each year, thousands languish on waiting lists with many never receiving the call that could save their lives. Lab-grown kidneys present a groundbreaking solution to this crisis, heralding a new era without organ shortages. 
Research indicates stem cell technology may be able to create a virtually unlimited supply of organs, completely shifting the entire medical landscape. On top of this, lab-grown kidneys have the potential to drastically reduce, if not eliminate, the risk of organ rejection. Traditional transplants, while life-saving, often come with a lifelong commitment to immunosuppressants. These drugs must be taken to prevent the body from rejecting the transplanted organ and carry their own set of challenges, from increased infection risks to potential damage to other organs. Lab-grown kidneys would reduce the risk of organ rejection because they would be engineered using the patient's own cells. Studies have backed up this hope, suggesting that the immune system would be capable of recognizing the lab-grown organ as its own. This would mean there would no longer be a need for lifelong immunosuppressive medication. The emotional and psychological toll of kidney disease cannot be overstated. The prospect of a treatment that offers a cure, rather than a temporary fix, could make a huge difference to many people's quality of life. Freedom from the strict dialysis schedules, the anxiety of potential organ rejection, and the side effects of immunosuppressive medication opens a new chapter in kidney disease treatment. Now, all that being said, there are significant challenges that come with engineering, producing, and distributing lab-grown kidneys at scale, not to mention the economic and ethical considerations. But before we delve into what that looks like, we'd like to thank you for watching with your two exclusive free gifts. Discover an entire world of kidney-boosting knowledge, tips, and tricks with the Kidney Friendly Recipe Collection, containing more than 25 recipes for every meal, including dessert. Crafted especially for our viewers with kidney disease, this unique collection focuses on quick and easy recipes to whip up food that's both tasty and great for your kidneys. But that's not all. You'll also get access to the Alkaline Diet and pH Guide for Kidney Disease. This essential guide unravels the critical role of pH balance in kidney health. It includes easy-to-follow advice on testing your pH levels at home, plus practical diet tips to support kidney health. Get each of these powerful gifts for free. Just click the link in the description below and start using these life-changing strategies today. Okay, back to the video. And first off, let's tackle the scientific hurdles. The kidney is a highly sophisticated organ that performs highly complex functions. Trying to build a kidney that not only works, but works consistently over years, is a monumental task. Then there's the puzzle of hooking these lab-grown kidneys up to blood supply. According to studies, creating a network of tiny blood vessels within these organs is one of the biggest hurdles scientists are facing. Advances in 3D bioprinting are promising and scientists are exploring this approach to create blood vessels within the kidneys. Imagine a sophisticated printer, but instead of ink, it uses a special gel that contains living cells, called bioink. First, scientists draw a map of the kidney's anatomy for the printer to follow. Then the machine prints each blood vessel, layer by layer, following the map. In fact, this is exactly what Organovo, a pioneering company in bioprinting, has been doing. They've developed 3D printed liver and kidney tissues for drug testing. By successfully integrating these blood vessels into the kidney, scientists are taking a huge step towards creating kidneys that can be hooked up to a patient's existing blood supply. Now, onto the ethical considerations. While the push is towards generating a kidney using a patient's own cells, scientists have used cells from unused embryos in their research. This is because the most potent stem cells come from human embryos. Some people believe that using embryonic stem cells creates moral issues. They argue that because these embryos have the potential to develop into a full human being, using them for stem cell extraction is morally questionable. While scientists have developed alternative methods, such as using adult stem cells, the debate over embryonic stem cells continues. This debate touches on deep questions about life, identity, and the limits of medical science, making it a complex and sensitive issue for many people. Where do you stand on this debate? Let us know in the comments below. Also, different regulations can't be ignored either. As we move closer to bringing lab-grown kidneys from the lab to the patient, regulatory bodies are scrambling to keep up. They're tasked with ensuring these organs are safe and effective. The conversation around regulation is ongoing, and it's a crucial one to ensure these advancements reach those in need safely. Another ethical issue is animal testing. 
In a landmark experiment in 2013, a Japanese team demonstrated the transplantation of a bioengineered kidney into a pig. They took a pig's kidney and removed all its cells, leaving behind a kind of kidney-shaped skeleton. Then they grew a new kidney and placed it back inside the pig. Amazingly, this lab-grown kidney actually started to make urine, though it wasn't quite as good as a normal kidney. While this is a positive step towards a future where lab-grown kidneys are available to humans, many animal rights activists have protested the use of animals for testing. Another group of scientists have used mice to test out organoids, which are like mini-kidneys grown from special cells. In these experiments, the mini-kidneys are put into mice to see if they can actually do kidney jobs, like cleaning the blood. Even though these mini-kidneys aren't as big or as complex as real ones, they're a big step forward in understanding how to grow kidneys that could one day help people. These studies are incredibly important because they give scientists clues on how to make full-sized working kidneys for humans who need them, offering hope for the future. How do you feel about lab-grown kidneys? Let us know in the comments. Plus, don't forget your free gifts in the description below and subscribe for more kidney health tips and updates. Stay healthy and we'll see you next time.